Okay, in this video I just want to talk about finding the domain and range of a couple piecewise defined functions that I graphed before. So um, you can see the other video if you're interested in seeing on how we produce these graphs, but in this one I just want to quickly mention the domain and range because people have been asking. So you can actually read the domain just off from the x-coordinates. Um, you know, maybe the easiest way is even to think about making a little number line. So it says we can start at negative 3, and we include that value, so that's the greater than or equal to. And then it says I go up to 0 from my first interval, but I don't include 0 from that first interval. So I'm shading in all the x-coordinates that have gotten used from this first interval. Everything including negative 3 up to but not including 0. Well, if you look at the next interval, it actually includes 0, so it would fill 0 in. And then it goes up to everything up to and including the value 2. So if you think about all the values that we have shaded in here, that's actually going to be the domain. And it says the domain will be everything between negative 3 and positive 2. Um, for the range, you can simply look at all the y-coordinates that are getting used. This is a little harder. It's usually best to have a graph. It looks like the smallest y-coordinate that ever gets used is the value of negative 2. Um, and then it uses everything up to but not including the y-coordinate of 1. Well, if you look at the other piece, it actually includes the value 0. It also, it does finally include the value 1, and then it continues up to the largest y-value of 4. Sometimes I always say, you know, maybe imagine like your pen, you know, move it up, uh, move it horizontally and think what's the smallest y-coordinate I hit, hit? Well, in this case it would be negative 2. I'm still hitting a y-coordinate somewhere, so I'm hitting everything. I'm still hitting, so I'm hitting negative 1, um, I'm hitting 0, I'm hitting 1, I'm hitting 2, I'm hitting 3, up to and including the value of 4. So that would be the range in that case. The other one's a little bit trickier. Um, again, you can read the domain just off from the function. Um, so let's see here. Give myself a little more room. So the domain, again, we can just read that off. Um, it says, imagine again maybe making a number line. So from the first interval it says we start at negative 3, then I go up to 0 and include it. So if I shade in everything between negative 3 and 0, that's stuff from my first interval. It says, well, then you would make an open circle for the next interval at 0, but it's already filled in. But then it says we go up to 1. Since it's less than, again, we'll make an open circle, and we'll play connect the dots inside of there. Lastly, the last interval does also include 1, so we'll shade it in. And then it says go up to 4, but don't include it. So we'll shade in everything up to 4, but not including 4. So again, the domain are all the values that we have. It starts at negative 3, and it goes up to a value of 4, but since we don't include it, we'll put that in parentheses. The range, again, I'm going to use the same idea. If you think about, you know, where would your pen first hit the graph, it would be down here at this point on the bottom left. And that corresponds to a y-coordinate of negative 3. So that's going to be the smallest value. Okay, and then I'm still hitting y-coordinates, still hitting y-coordinates, up until I hit the x-axis. But since it's filled in, um, that'll be, be the y-coordinate of 0, which I'll also include. And notice then there's a little jump. Um, there's no place between um, 0 and 1, not including 1, where my... my pin would hit the graph, it would miss everywhere. Okay, so the y values between 0 and 1 are actually skipped over. Um, if we look now, once we, once we get to the y value of 1, that again is included, and then it says we keep going up and we keep getting y values until we hit the y value of 2. And from the curvy part, the y value of 2 is not included. Okay, we just miss it. But then if you look at the middle part, it's actually defined to be equal to um, over that entire interval. So we'll actually pick up the value 2 as well. So it says the range is everything between negative 3 and 0, union, the values between 1 and 2, inclusive.